Hello, dear friends. My name is Dr. Igor Atabekov. I'm a clinical oncologist practicing since 2010 in a governmental hospital in Russia. I'm a chemotherapist, but um, I'm also very interested in different uh, adjunctive methods in folk medicine um, to improve the outcomes of the patients, as uh, we know that official medicine uh, cannot always um, offer the cure for the patients. That's why today I'd like to discuss with you the popular remedy in oncological patients, and not only in oncological, also in uh, folk medicine of uh, many countries in this world, because this plant is used for many diseases. This is, of course, Arctium lapa or burdock, and we will talk about folk medicine uses and uh, about um, different studies that happened uh, within the recent 10 to 20 years. And uh, fortunately, there are even studies on humans that uh, give us a very valuable information on uh, whether or not it's really working or is it placebo. So let's talk about it in more details. If you see the recent publications, you may notice that there are uh, a lot of new studies coming out uh, within the recent several years on burdock, meaning that um, this uh, remedy is quite a promising one. For example, you can see a good review article from 2022, and also the other one, 2023, you can find it by the name and the authors. Arctium Lapa is quite uh, rich in different uh, substances. And here are some unique substances that are found only in burdock. And I told you it's called Arctium Lapa. And you can see here Artigenin or Lapaol. You can see they are named after the name of the plant. Some uh, investigations, they studied uh, the whole bunch of the substances from burdock. The others, they took high concentrations of one of uh, different substances to see the effects. So, in folk medicine, we can see that it can be used for different respiratory infections, just, just GI infections, because it can help with fever, with sore throat, with uh, different uh, inflammation. It has a good antibacterial effect. Uh, it can be used for inflammation in uh, uh, oral cavity, in joints, in gout. Also, it may help in diabetes. It's often used as diuretic, as detox agent. It can help in cerebral ischemia, often used in hair loss, in wounds, in uh, cancer patients, in different benign tumors. So, let's figure out, are there any investigations on, of that effects? And let's start from antibacterial uh, effects of burdock. You can see all these are different studies. You can see it showed uh, an effect against many bacteria like Staphylococcus aureus, uh, like Pseudomonas aeruginosa, like Streptococci, E. coli, H. pylori. Also it showed um, effectiveness against Candida and against um, mold like Aspergillus or Penicillin. And what is very important that it can uh, disrupt the biofilms. Biofilms is something that bacteria and fungi form to be more um, resistant to any kinds of treatment uh, we have. Even the bacteria is sensitive to some antibiotic. If it forms biofilm, antibiotic cannot get inside. That's why it's very important to give this antibiotic with something that will disrupt the biofilm. And this is one of the potential remedies to do that. Next, I told you it's used for toothache in uh, folk medicine. And really there is the, uh, clinical in, uh, there is the um, study that showed that it really has the activity against microorganisms that often cause inflammation in uh, gums. Also, you can see a lot of studies that showed that burdock can be neuroprotective, meaning it helps the neural system to uh, survive and uh, be healthy. And there are three types of studies. One shows that 
burdock can help with ischemia, meaning when, for example, atherosclerotic plaque and thrombus, it clogs the blood vessel in the brain, and this part of brain that is fed with this blood vessel, it will uh, be suffering or even dying, it will be called stroke. And um, this um, Arctium Lapa, it helps to survive uh, this neural system, not to die so fast and to, to have less free radicals uh, damaging uh, the tissue. That's why it can be a good uh, neuroprotective remedy. Also, it helps to protect neural system from different toxic agents, toxic substances and from trauma. It helps to decrease inflammation in neural system and improve uh, the rate of regeneration. So it may have some potential in, for example, stroke patients or somebody who has uh, trauma to, to brain or to peripheral nerves or spinal cord. And of course, a lot of studies on free radicals and on antioxidant action of burdock meaning it can potentially protect from different uh, chronic diseases, from atherosclerosis, uh, diabetes, strokes, uh, myocardial infarctions, uh, cancer, etc. Also, it has a lot of studies on anti-inflammatory effects. And we will see later that it can help with, for example, skin or joint inflammation. Some studies are on uh, tumor cells. Uh, for example, it can decrease tumor growth, increase uh, survival of animals, with cancer. These specific substances of burdock, like artigenine or lapol, they decrease the tumor size by 50%, 70%, here 54%, 64%. And also it protected liver, it improved uh, the um, antioxidant reserves of liver, it decreased the inflammation in liver, it decreased the fat accumulation. We know the steatohepatitis or fatty liver disease that causes uh, chronic inflammation. And this chronic inflammation in liver uh, with uh, time, it may lead to liver cancer. That's why it's very important as the prophylactic method for liver cancer, potentially. Other study, they found uh, six lignans inside the burdock that showed that uh, they can help to struggle with uh, cancers. Uh, for example, they can increase the effectiveness of chemotherapy drugs. Some um, tumors, they use uh, this PGP, P glycoprotein, that, use, uh, that is working like a cannon. It throws out the chemo drug that comes inside the tumor. It throws it out outside the cell, so the tumor won't suffer from this chemo drug, and this chemo drug won't work. And uh, this uh, Arctium Lapa can help to uh, make um, this uh, P glycoprotein not effective, not working, not functional, and uh, leading to restoration of effect of chemo drug on this tumor. And of course, uh, there are some studies that show that um, Arctium Lapa may help to increase the self-killing or apoptosis of tumor cells and uh, to decrease the production of new blood vessels to feed the tumor. And we'll talk about one clinical trial of cancer patients a little bit later. Also, it has a lot of effects on diabetes and on insulin resistance in cholesterol. You can see there are a lot of mechanisms described in this article. And in general, these are all different studies of these effects. We can see that it increases insulin, decreases insulin resistance, uh, improves uh, glucose, improves uh, glycated hemoglobin, and it can help with body weight. And also it may help with obesity. That is very important in diabetes of type 2 and insulin resistance. Next, these are all clinical trials on burdock. You can see it has some effects on, for example, knee osteoarthritis, on uh, acne, on uh, H. pylori. And we will start from the ca cancer clinical trial. These were patients with advanced uh, pancreatic cancer uh, when they already used chemotherapy with gemcitabin. This is the um, one of the basic drugs for pancreatic cancer. And um, they were just choosing the correct dosages. It's a phase one trial, meaning they are trying to find out which dosages are safe for these people. Starting from 3 grams and going to 12 grams of GBS01. And they found out that the main adverse reactions were just mild increases in total bilirubin, in GGTP, some hyperglycemia, 
in these high dosages. And uh, for patients of 15, just with use of Burdock, they, their cancer stopped growing for some time. And in one patient, you can see he had metastasis in liver, and now this metastasis became much smaller. He was having this, uh, seven, uh, this GBS01 for 7.5 grams per day, but after six months, unfortunately, his disease started to grow again. Meaning that uh, again and again, I tell, tell you always that you cannot kill cancer with only one thing. You need to use a combination, starting from the lifestyle, starting from the food, from uh, metabolic approaches, uh, how to block um, the tumor feeding. I was talking about it in mitochondrial theory of cancer. And uh, combining it with some supplements or even uh, sometimes toxic things. Uh, for example, chemotherapy is uh, toxins, toxic um, drugs to kill the cancer. And of course, to work with uh, immunity. That's the only way you can potentially cure cancer. Next, this study showed that uh, Arctium Lapa can have the good beneficial effect on acne, especially uh, the form of acne when there is a lot of inflammation. This is already a human study, clinical trial. Here, again, they try to understand the uh, safe dosages of uh, Arxium Lapa, but it was combined with the other plant, Cannavalia gladiata, and they found out that uh, uh, together this combination increased natural killers. It's um, important cells uh, of immunity that helps against many threats, uh, including cancer. And this investigation of burdock that showed that it can help uh, to uh, decrease the quantities of Helicobacter pylori in the stomach and uh, improve the inflammation, improve the antioxidant reserves, and uh, also help to heal uh, ulcers in the stomach. There are several investigations where they used the burdock root tea uh, for treatment of knee osteoarthritis. Uh, it uh, really um, th three cups a day after meal or three cups of uh, just hot water. Uh, this was a control group. They compared what will be effect. And those who used the tea, they had less pain, better function of the joints. And the other uh, studies also like that with the tea. It showed that they had less um, inflammation and more antioxidant reserve. And one more study, they showed that they had better cholesterol control, more good cholesterol, less bad cholesterol, and also it uh, helped to decrease uh, blood pressure. And one more study of burdock in menopausal women, it showed that it helped to improve the hormonal levels in menopause, meaning it can potentially help with osteoporosis in these women. Also, uh, aqua aerobic exercises helped with that, and that may be important for, as a general measure, to improve the health. So, as you see, there are a lot of uh, investigations, and the trend is uh, there are always new and new investigations done on burdock, and uh, uh, because it's a very promising remedy. And let's do some conclusions uh, that um, burdock has anti-inflammatory and antibacterial effect. It has um, some immunomodulatory effect. It can help um, against uh, cancer as an adjunctive method, potentially. We still need to study it better. Uh, it helps for inflammation of joints and skin. It has some potential anti-diabetic and lipid lowering effect and also can lower the blood pressure. And it also can be helpful as a adjunctive method to keep Helicobacter pylori under control. Dear friends, I want to thank everyone who is supporting our channel. This is the list of our sponsors. If you want to join them, please use the link under this video. I would be very grateful if you write a comment. Maybe you have any experience using uh, Arctium Lapa, or maybe you want just to wish something good to the other viewers. And I wish you good day, good luck, and goodbye. Don't be afraid.